Villeneuve Peroni is a Sky documentary and it tells the astonishing story of the Canadian Formula One legend Gilles Villeneuve and French star Didier Peroni, two fearless Ferrari Formula One drivers forever torn apart by a historic and usually controversial moment in time. Directed by Torquil Jones and written by Gabriel Clark and Jones, who directed Netflix's 14 Peaks, Nothing is Impossible, the documentary has interviews with Formula One world champion Jacques Villeneuve, the son of Gilles, Alain Prost and Sir Jackie Stewart, alongside the Villeneuve and Peroni families. Forty years on from the infamous and tragic 1982 Formula One season, the families of Canadian icon Gilles Villeneuve and French superstar Didier Peroni unite for the first time to reveal one of the sport's greatest untold stories. In the midst of modern racing's most dangerous era, two daring Ferrari teammates were battling for the world championship. At the San Marino Grand Prix, Peroni broke an unwritten agreement. The two Ferrari drivers were given team orders to hold their positions, a not uncommon instruction given by Formula One teams generally. Up until that point, Villeneuve and Peroni had had a back and forth battle, but on the last lap it was Villeneuve who was leading, and so therefore was given the instruction to go slow by the pit boards, in other words saying they must hold position with Villeneuve winning and Peroni in second. But Peroni decided to ignore this instruction and he passed a slow Villeneuve on the final lap, stealing victory from his close friend. This act of betrayal, as seen by Villeneuve, broke a sacred bond and the relationship soon spiralled into a vengeful rivalry. Villeneuve and Peroni would never speak to each other again, and within a matter of weeks, tragedy would strike. On May 8, 1982, Villeneuve died after an accident during the final qualifying session for the Belgian Grand Prix at Zolder. At the time of the crash, Peroni had set a one-tenth of a second faster time than Villeneuve for sixth place. Villeneuve was using his final set of qualifying tyres. Some say he was attempting to improve his time on the final lap, while others suggest he was specifically aiming to beat Peroni. With eight minutes of the session left, Villeneuve came over the rise after the first chicane and caught Joachim Mass, travelling much more slowly. Mass saw Villeneuve approaching at high speed and moved to the right to let him through on the racing line. At the same instant, Villeneuve also moved right to pass the slower car. The Ferrari hit the back of Mass's car and was launched into the air at the speed of an estimated 200 km an hour or 124 miles per hour. It was airborne for more than 100 metres before nosediving into the ground and disintegrating as it somersaulted along the edge of the track. Villeneuve, still strapped in his seat, but now without his helmet, was thrown a further 50 metres, 160 feet, from the wreckage into the catch fencing on the outside edge of the Terme Le Bosch corner. He was diagnosed with a fatal fracture of the neck and was kept on life support while his wife travelled to the hospital and the doctors consulted specialists worldwide. With his wife by his side, Joanne, Villeneuve was pronounced dead at 12 past 9 that evening. The documentary goes now behind the scenes of two of the most famous drivers from the early 80s. For decades, rumour, bitterness and myth had surrounded the duel in San Marino and its aftermath. In a plot laden with mystery and intrigue, each compelling twist and turn is revealed, as the film now uncovers the truth behind the unwritten agreement of that last fateful lap. Villeneuve Peroni is a modern-day Shakespearean epic. It is the story of two of the fastest races in history, their brief and violent intertwined lives, and the emotional scars still felt today by their closest loved ones. Above all, it's a life-affirming film that explores love, loss and legacy in a sport where passion overcomes fear almost daily. Gilles Villeneuve was active in Formula 1 from 1977 to 1982, winning six times and having 13 podiums, unfortunately he never achieved the ultimate of becoming world champion. Later in the 1982 season at the German Grand Prix, after claiming pole position, Peroni was also busy testing a new composition Goodyear rain tyre in an untimed practice. The new spec Goodyear rain tyres proved to be very successful, with Ferroni lapping two and a half seconds faster than his newly recruited teammate Patrick Tambay, driving the sister Ferrari, the man who of course replaced Gilles Villeneuve. In the rain, one of the many problems caused by the ground effect F1 cars was that the spray forced out from the undersides of the pods as a fire mist virtually created a fog. To those behind, this made the cars in front almost invisible. When Peroni tried to pass Derek Daly's Williams, the Ferrari 126C2 smashed into the back of Alan Prost's invisible Renault, a violent accident which bore some similarity to that suffered by Villeneuve. Peroni survived, but multiple fractures to both of his legs meant he would never race again in Formula 1. Peroni would finish second in the 1982 World Championship, losing out to Keke Rosberg, despite missing four races of that year's 14 rounds. Because Peroni would not be able to be returned to Formula 1 due to the extent of his injuries, Peroni decided to turn to offshore powerboat racing instead. On the 23rd of August 1987, Peroni was killed in an accident in the Needles Trophy race near the Isle of Wight that also took the life of his two crew members, journalist Bernard Giroux and his old friend Jean-Claude Gunnar. Their boat, Calibri 4, rode over a rough wave caused by an oil tanker, causing the boat to flip over. After Peroni's death, his girlfriend Catherine Gu gave birth to twins. In honour of Peroni and Gilles Villeneuve, she named them Didier and Gilles. In 2014, one of the twins, Gilles Peroni, joined Mercedes-AMG Petronas as an engineer. 
Jules stood on the podium of the 2020 British Grand Prix, receiving the Constructors' Trophy. Now, firstly, I must commend Torquil Jones here for a fantastic documentary and for sourcing some pretty amazing archival footage here of Jules and Didier. This truly is a story of a great friendship that, that turned sour, basically because of ego, competitiveness, and the will to win at all costs. Something very much required in order to be a very successful Formula One driver. The interviews here from those close to both drivers, intimately and professionally, help you understand and realize the cutthroat nature of the business of Formula One. I feel like this is a very unbiased portrayal here of two very different people who came together in the pursuit of being a Formula One world champion. If you're a Formula One fan, then this is a must watch. Jules Verneuve has always been one of the most iconic, yet very enigmatic drivers within Formula One history. He was supremely talented, but also really sort of raced on the edge and drove on pure emotion at times, where Peroni was seen as the playboy French star, blonde and blue eyed, maybe not as uniquely talented as Jules, but ever the more ambitious. What is clear though is that both men were extremely focused adrenaline junkies who risked it all to live on the edge. It's a truly tragic and sad tale of two men killed long before their time and how neither of them could ever achieve the greatness that they so desired and how neither of them also never really got to spend enough time with their families and understand who their children would become or were. This is a fascinating, enlightening and introspective look at two of the sport's more misunderstood and complicated figures. Villeneuve Peroni gets a 9 out of 10.